Well, hello again. Just like that, I was outside. Now I'm in here in the studio with you guys checking out this radar right now. Now, as I mentioned earlier in First Weather, it's not really raining much here in San Angelo anymore or in Tom Green County. The rain is starting to move out of the county, but Abilene still getting in on the action. Ballinger getting in on the action. Down here, southeastern Kimball County, southwestern to central Mason County. Look, Kimball County, forgive me. Yo, Mason County, forgive me. Um, getting in on some of that heavy downpours. Comanche down to Eastland, Democrat. These are all Eastland County, Comanche County, Brown County getting in on some really, really heavy storms right now. As you see, this lightning signature picking up a lot of lightning right now. But as I also mentioned earlier, we're looking for the activity to really start pushing out of the viewing area between 10 p.m. and midnight, which is where we'll finally get the chance to dry out. But I also want to look at these advisories and alerts we have going on right now. Most of us still under those flash flood watches so anybody in this darker green that's still getting rain you still have that opportunity to see some flash flooding concerns this light green is a flood advisory so it's not quite as serious as a flash flood warning but a little more serious than the flash flood watch so we've been reiterating this over and over for the past couple days turn around don't drown and I just want to give you some comparisons to understand why that's so important just six inches of water can knock you off your feet 12 inches of water can 12 inches of fast moving water that is can carry away a car and then 18 to 24 inches of water can carry away most large SUVs vans and trucks so water the the standing water you might think oh I can take it I can get over it don't risk it because flooding is the t is the third highest weather related fatality each year in our country so overnight lows tonight we're going to get into the lower to mid 60s some of our more western counties getting into the upper 50s snyder big spring garden city midland all getting into the 50s the rest of us though are going to stay in those 60s tonight now i want to look at the highs because this is about to get really cool so weather weather is in effect tomorrow we're going to see a little warmer we're going to get to 85 degrees but another cold front is coming through on friday that's going to knock us down to the mid 70s and then into the weekend we're getting into the lower 70s and by the start of the work week next week on Monday we're getting back to the upper 70s so slowly trying to get back to those 80s our average high for this time of year is the lower 80s but we got a nice cool down between now and then now rain not much is happening after tonight which we're thankful for because we've been seeing some, a lot of rain between yesterday and today but by the start of the work week we're going to start seeing the increase in rain chances monday 10 percent but by next wednesday we're looking at 20 to 30 percent chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms and of course that's so far out i can't give much detail on that but that is something to look for well look towards you know we have about five days of drying out before the rain starts to make its grand return so tomorrow partly cloudy skies going into the start of the weekend with some sunshine sunday might pick up the cloud cover once more monday kicking off the week on a sunny note but when those rain chances start to make their way back in the picture on this the middle part of next week so will the cloud cover abilene they're looking to be the same kicking off the weekend on a sunny note but once the cloud cover picks back up with the rain chances it's going to kind of stay that way and they're going to get back into the 70s by this time next week back to you tim